Aspen, wherever you are in Central Texas, it's a safe bet you're ahead on rainfall for the year. That's delayed the planting of the 2015 corn crop, as Shell Winkley tells us in this week's From the Ground Up. I don't know for sure how many inches of rain we've had, but it seems like quite a bit, and not allowing us to do any of the field work in prepping it. Our planting dates usually start around the latter part of February through to about the 10th of March. Now we're facing, you know, the end of March to the 1st of April. It's just been a trying year for us. The rainfall is just every four or five days seems like we're getting rain, which we can't complain about the moisture because we're getting great underground moisture. Dale Holsher farms with his brother in Bell, Milam, Falls, and Robertson counties, and only 50% of his corn has been planted. A lot of times the uh, Texas heat will get us in June and July and uh, you know it affects the pollination period on the corn when it gets above 95 degrees, pollination is affected. History tells Holster that planting corn early reduces risk to the crop. Excessive heat or drought exposure to corn planted later can also stress the plants and cause them to be susceptible to fungus. We will suffer in yield loss usually on, you know, tell me what June and July is and I'll tell you how much yield loss we'll have. Uh, a lot of them might switch to grain sorghum. Uh, there's some going to soybeans, more soybeans, grain sorghum, uh, might even switch to cotton. As usual, Mother Nature produces winners and losers. Winter wheat benefited from the rains. For the most part, the wheat really looks great. The pastures are green. Uh, we're, you know, it's, it's, it's a curse one way, but it's a blessing on the other. We can always make something in wet, we just can't make it in a dry season. For now, it's a daylight till dark race in between the rains. I'm Shell Winkley, looking at Central Texas agriculture from the ground up. From the Ground Up is brought to you by Producers Cooperative, proudly serving agriculture since 1943.